Hi all, how's it going? Uh, just wanted to record another episode of how I got the shot. Uh, this time I'm going to be uh, heading down to Narrows Bridge, underneath the Narrows Bridge, just in South Perth. Um, we're going to take a, a long exposure with a 10 stop ND on the uh, Samyang 14mm lens. Uh, it's a bit of a specialty lens, it doesn't accept your regular screw on or even your regular drop in filters. Uh, so I'll run a little bit over the setup of the lens and the filter system. Um, and then I'll quickly talk about how I took the shot and then how I edited the shot. Um, this one's pretty straightforward, it shouldn't take too long, but I hope you enjoy. Cheers. Okay guys, uh, let's quickly run over the camera setup, well, really the lens setup. The camera I used was my Canon 6D Mark II, which I'm filming on right now. But um, so, I, as I said, I was using a 14 millimeter Samyang uh, wide angle, super wide angle lens, uh, and I wanted to use a 10 stop ND filter. Um, to achieve that, couldn't simply use a screw on filter because the 14 mil lens and most super widening or LEDs don't accept screw on filters. They also generally don't accept your standard drop in square filters, uh, generally because they have a bulbous curved front element. Um, basically your standard drop in filter kits will hit that front element and you won't be able to attach the filter. So you have to use very large 150 millimeter square filters uh, or if they're rectangle they're a I think 100 by 150 uh, or 150 by 200. Anyway, I don't have any of the rectangle gradiator filters, just the one 10 stop. They're not cheap, but um, you know, can give you a very unique look. So let's grab the lens, which is right here. This is the Samyang 14 millimeter manual focus f 2.8 lens. It's a cheap lens only, retails for less than $500. Pick it up on sale for less than that and second hand, really cheap. Okay, so. Basically, it has a 150 millimeter filter holder with a little collar that attaches to the top of the lens here and you screw on the, the other front section and it basically clamps it down and holds it in place, blocks all light. And then you simply slide in your 150 millimeter filter into the top, creates a perfect light seal. And then you can do your long exposures on the 14 millimeter super wide angle lens. And it's super handy, gives you a unique look. So yeah, let's jump into Lightroom, run over the edit. Okay, now we are in Lightroom. I uh, just want to quickly run over the edit that I made to this photograph under the Narrows Bridge. Um, the photo you're seeing now is uh, direct out of camera. Um, it wasn't too bad direct out of camera. It was shot at ISO 100, um, I think F8. Uh, the aperture isn't recorded on this lens, doesn't have any electronic contract contacts, and it was 101, 101 second exposure. Okay, so I'll jump across to the next image, which shows the first round of uh, color grading and edits. Um, so slightly tweak the color balance, increase the uh, increase the color balance slightly, uh, really drop the highlights. Uh, the highlights were slightly overblown, only slightly. Uh, I, probably in a long exposure I prefer the highlights to be slightly over um, otherwise you get a lot of noise in the shadows for a long exposure boost the shadows quite a lot um, by about 60% whites increased just to raise that overall brightness and blacks decreased um, then a subtle lift off the blacks to uh, sort of matte the photo slightly um, and then create a bit of an S curve with your, your tonal curve um, that is about it. I always do a little bit of tweaking with the uh, calibration settings. I, s I basically tweak the sliders until I like the color. Uh, basically without, it's a little green with just increasing those red tones, which is where I was heading. Then I open the file in Photoshop. Uh, in Photoshop, I won't jump in there, but basically what I have done here is um, straightened up this uh, gap in the middle. I'll quickly jump back across. You can see it was just slightly out. I think more to do with the alignment of the bridge than the, the um, composition, but um, you know, skewed that slightly in Photoshop. And what I also did was in the original, we didn't have this other beam of light coming out on the right um, and it really threw the balance off. So I really, all I did was duplicate this left-hand portion of light, copy it across to the right and 
mask it out to blend it in. Um, you know, probably not super realistic as to what the lighting situation was, but I think it helps create that symmetry. Then finally, uh, the last color grade back into Lightroom, um, really here, not, not a huge amount done apart from select a preset within Lightroom, Lightroom which I do use sometimes. I use the uh, red lift matte preset, uh, drop that to about 100, uh, decrease the highlights again a little more, push the shadows a bit more again, push the whites, drop the blacks, uh, and that was it. Uh, uh, push the blues to get a bit more blue in the sky. Uh, and that was the final photo. So I hope that gives you a little insight into the editing process with this one. Again, didn't have to do a lot um, as it was you know, quite good out of camera. Really just push those, um, those golden colors. Uh, the sun was setting. Um, and I really wanted to emphasize that and really emphasize the strong light shining through the beams and uh, a bit of trickery just to increase the symmetry by adding that third beam of light on the right. Okay, well that wraps that photo up. Um, you know, quick and easy edit. Um, not too much done. I guess the uh, interest comes from using that ND filter on such a wide angle lens. Not something you see all the time. So. You know, when you're looking for a un unique shot, think about how you can manipulate the uh, shutter speed, extend your shutter speeds, smooth out water, clouds, um, you know, take away any distracting elements such as, you know, ripples in the water and uh, really focus on those leading lines and shadow and light. Um, that's That was my goal there with that photo. Um, so yeah, hopefully you got something out of that and I will uh, record another one of these little insights uh, next time I head out. Cheers guys, thank you.